Now, Louis Fogel, what says he walked out of prison and into a world that he really doesn't know. But at the same time, he says he remains committed to help finding the real killer of that 15-year-old girl. Louis Fogel spent 34 years in prison concentrating on his artwork and trying to prove his innocence. He was convicted as the killer of a 15-year-old girl who was raped. 34 years of being in prison for something I didn't do, I'm not going to take that laying down. Lewis says he acted as his own attorney and investigator in prison until he connected with the Pennsylvania chapter of the Innocence Project. The group led the process of DNA testing on the girl's body, which eventually cleared Fogel. Everyone that spoke to Lewis understood that he was innocent and understood that we needed to commit all of our resources to join his fight, which at that point had been tremendous. And so we're just grateful that uh, he trusted us to help him. Fogel says he spoke with the victim's family and made a pledge. They know that I was innocent and, and they even told me so. And I, I just, you know, and I promised them that I would do whatever I can to try to help to bring the truth out of what really happened. Sooner or later, the truth would come out of what did happen to Kathy Long and who was responsible. You know, I'm not going to rest until that happens. At the same time, Fogel says he must get used to a world that is drastically different since he was placed in prison 34 years ago. I have no idea how to use the internet. I don't even know how to use my phone properly yet. As far as becoming acclimated to society, Fogel says he is starting from scratch. Right now, there is no compensation program for people in Pennsylvania who've been wrongfully convicted. Reporting live from Indiana County, Sheldon Ingram, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.